Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Couplet number 239, Chapter Fame Stephen Hawking was born on 8 January 1942. He grew up like other child till he was 20 years old. He suffered some nerve illness at the age of 21 which gradually paralyzed him, curtailing all his movements and pushed him on wheelchair. The family felt very sad about his illness. The physicians who had studied his illness declared that 90% of people suffering of this illness would die within two months from date of which they got affected. Relatives, friends and nearby people talked about his plight and that he was of no use to anyone and that many people would require to take care of him thereafter. They also declared that he was a burden to Mother Earth. Though Stephen Hawking became sad about comments unleashed on his illness, he started doing things thinking that the current day was the last day and thereby inventing newer things on daily basis. Utilizing the modern technology, he started writing several books with the help of cheek movements. His inventions were included on a pair of inventions made by Einstein. His fame spread throughout the world against the verbal onslaught of people who had doubted about his life as a burden to the earth and they all felt ashamed over his achievements. The Mother Earth felt very happy to hold Stephen Hawking. But at the same time, the Mother Earth felt shame to hold people who despite blessed with good physical and mental well-being, failed to do something fruitful to the mankind. This is like a land which is infertile to produce any harvest. Our Saint Tamil poet Thiruvalluvar explains about this in his Thirukural as follows. Vasayila van payan kundrum, isayila yakkai, porutta nilam, ayrasai. Vasayila van payan kundrum, isayila yakkai, porutta nilam. Man without fame is like land with droughtness. Man with fame is land with good harvest. Thank you very much. Indeed, Nandri Vanakkam.